Hello viewers, welcome to the next section, Testing and Deploying an API with Flask. In this section we will learn about setting up unit tests, defining a first round of unit tests, running unit tests with Nose 2, improving test coverage, understanding strategies for deployments and scalability. Now we move on to the video, Setting up unit tests. In this video we will install the Nose 2 and Cov Core packages in our virtual environment. Then we will create the configuration file for the testing environment. Open the command prompt and make sure you quit the Flask's development server. Remember that you just need to press Ctrl and C in the command prompt window in which it is running. Now we need to install the Nose 2 package by executing the pip install command. The highlighted lines of the output will indicate that the Nose 2 package has been successfully installed. We just need to run the pip command to install the cov core package that will also install the coverage dependency. The highlighted lines for the output will indicate that the cov core package has been successfully installed. Next we will create the PostgreSQL database that we will use as a repository for our testing environment. First you will have to log into the PostgreSQL database. After that we will create new database named test messages. Note that the command won't generate any output. Now we will run some SQL statements to grant privileges on the database to a user. Let's execute the grant all privileges command to achieve this. The privileges have now been granted. Then enter slash Q to exit the psql command line tool. You have to replace your username with your desired username to use in the new database and password with your chosen password. We have used the username and password which is already in the Flask testing configuration. Open the API folder and create a new testconfig.py file. The testconfig.py file has now been created. The highlighted lines show the code that declares variables that determine the configuration for Flask and SQL Alchemy for our testing environment. The SQL Alchemy database URI variable generates a SQL Alchemy URI for the PostgreSQL database that we will use to run all the migrations before starting tests. Make sure you specify the desired test database name and the value for DB name and that you configure the user, password and host address based on your PostgreSQL configuration for the testing environment. In this case we will type the username as test2 and type the password abc at the rate 123 and in the host address we will use the default value as it is. Finally, use the database name as test messages. We will now save the file to keep the changes.